The transfer portal has gone absolutely crazy over the last 24 hours, as a number of pretty big names transferred to new programs. All that and more on today's episode of 4th and 10. Four college football stories in just around 10 minutes. Now, let's go for it. We'll start with a couple of pretty well-known quarterbacks. Former Miami quarterback Tyler Van Dyke announced he'll be transferring to Wisconsin. Van Dyke jumped onto the scene in 2021 by winning the ACC's Freshman of the Year award. He was fantastic for the Hurricanes as he threw for 3,000 yards with 25 passing touchdowns in 10 games. It looked like he'd be a potential Heisman candidate in 2022, and Miami would be a potential threat in the ACC with him at the helm. Sadly, the next two seasons didn't go as planned. Planned. In 2022, he threw for only 1,800 yards with 10 passing touchdowns. 2023 was a little better, but he wasn't able to recreate what he did in 2021. This past season, Van Dyke completed a career high 66% of his passes. He threw for 2,700 yards with 19 touchdowns over the course of 11 games. We saw glimpses this year of the quarterback from 2021, but there were also a lot of glimpses of the quarterback from 2022. This is a pretty big pickup for Wisconsin who needed a quarterback pretty badly. Tanner Mordecai used up his eligibility and Mississippi State transfer Braden Locke started three games but didn't look all that great for them. Now Wisconsin has the veteran they were looking for in Tyler Van Dyke who visited campus over the weekend. Toledo quarterback Daquan Finn also visited Wisconsin this past weekend but it looks like he'll have to find another program. Van Dyke went 15 and 13 as a starter over three seasons with the Hurricanes. He did play for three different coordinators while at Miami, so maybe that's why he was never able to truly get comfortable. We saw Van Dyke thrive the most under Rhett Lashley, now SMU's head coach. In the second half of the 2021 season, Lashley employed an up-tempo pace and Van Dyke thrived. He completed 66% of his passes, throwing for 2,200 yards with 20 touchdowns over his final six games. After battling through a shoulder injury and a different offense in 2022, Van Dyke played a lot better in 2023 under Shannon Dawson. Although he said he liked playing in Dawson's offense, Van Dyke and Miami went 7-5. and five. He threw 11 interceptions over his final 7 games and was actually benched before Miami played Florida State in mid-November. He only regained the job after freshman Emery Williams was lost to the season with an injury. We've seen the high potential with Tyler Van Dyke. We've seen him be a really good quarterback. Now the question is, will he be able to do it at Wisconsin? Another well-known quarterback that transferred was former Coastal Carolina quarterback Grayson McCall, who announced he's transferring to NC State. According to On3, McCall likes how he fits in the NC State scheme. He's also from Indian Trail, North Carolina, which is outside of Charlotte. Being able to play his final college football season in North Carolina was taken strongly into consideration. McCall is also excited about the talent that's going to be surrounding him. True freshman wide receiver Kevin Concepcion led the Wolfpack in receiving yards this season. It's also expected they're going to land a couple of other big playmakers as well in the portal. McCall was the Sunbelt's Player of the Year three straight seasons from 2020 through 2022. He's thrown for more than 10,000 yards in his career, throwing 88 touchdowns with only 14 interceptions. He's also added 18 touchdowns on the ground as well. He dealt with an injury for most of this season, playing in only seven games. It was the worst season of his Coastal Carolina career. Still, what we've seen he's capable of doing is being one of the top quarterbacks in all of college football. In 2021, he threw for just under 3,000 yards with 27 passing touchdowns and only 3 interceptions. From 2020 through 2022, he threw a combined 8 interceptions in 33 games. He also completed more than 70% of his passes during that stretch as well. He started 40 games while at Coastal Carolina and posted a 33-7 record. He's been one of the winningest quarterbacks in all of college football since 2020. The Wolfpack will be on their third different quarterback in the last three seasons. The Brendan Armstrong experience didn't go as expected this past season, so hopefully McCall is able to be an upgrade and help NC State potentially make it to the ACC title game. Entering the 2023 season, many people were expecting Arkansas running back Rocket Sanders to be one of the top running backs in the 2024 NFL Draft class. Well, not only is he returning to college for another year, he'll be at a different program, as he's transferring to South Carolina. 
Sanders has a pre-existing relationship with Gamecocks offensive coordinator Dole Logans, who was at Arkansas from 2021 through 2022. Sanders battled injuries this season and finished the year with only 200 rushing yards, but he was a first-team All-SEC selection the year prior. In 2022, he finished the season with 1,500 rushing yards and 12 total touchdowns. He emerged as one of the best running backs in all of college football, and Arkansas was expecting a big season from him in 2023. He was ranked as the number three running back in the 24-7 sports transfer rankings and the number 34 overall player. The Gamecocks lost starter Mario Anderson to the transfer portal after being their leading rusher this year. The addition of Sanders should help as the Gamecocks offense was second to last nationally in rushing yards per carry among FBS teams. The only team that was worse than them was Colorado. When healthy, Rocket Sanders has proven he's one of the best running backs in all of college football. If the Gamecocks are able to upgrade their offensive line and Sanders is able to stay healthy, this is going to be quite the addition. Before we get to the rest of today's video, I'd like to share with you guys how you can win money during the college football season. I've partnered with Underdog Fantasy to bring you this amazing deal. If you download the Underdog app and use promo code Harris, they'll match your first deposit up to $500. Yep, they're giving you up to $500 of free money. I've had a lot of success all season with college football and the NFL, and you can do the exact same with Underdog Fantasy. So make sure to use promo code Harris for a 100% deposit match up to $500. You can also sign up using the link in my description as well. Our final transfer today is former Indiana offensive lineman Matthew Bedford, as he's transferring to Colorado. The Buffaloes desperately need offensive lineman help, and they're getting it. During his five seasons with Indiana, Bedford started 38 games, and he has experience all across the line. He started 11 games at left guard, 10 games at right guard, 9 games at right tackle, and 8 games at left tackle. He was voted Indiana's Offensive Newcomer of the Year in 2019. In 2021, Bedford earned all Big Ten Honorable Mention honors. After starting the opener in 2022, he missed the rest of the season with an injury and then returned as the starter in 2023. This past season, Bedford was graded as Indiana's best offensive lineman by Pro Football Focus. According to them, he allowed only two sacks and 15 quarterback pressures. PFF graded Bedford as the sixth best guard in the Big Ten and only three guards had a better run blocking grade. Bedford is the fifth offensive lineman to transfer to Colorado just in the past couple of days. Deion Sanders has been doing a fantastic job revamping this offensive line after allowing a school record 56 sacks this past season. Well, that wraps it up for today's episode of 4th and 10. What are your thoughts on the players that transferred to their new schools? Do you think any of these players are going to be game changers? Let me know in the comment section down below. If there are any videos you'd like to see this offseason, let me know and it could be featured as my next video. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. I'm posting college football videos all off season, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. Also, don't forget to drop a like on this video as well. It helps out with that YouTube algorithm and helps share the video with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.